What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to talk about Litecoin and this is generally a coin that is forgotten by a lot of people. People are just not interested in this coin, but I'm here to tell you that there is a very nice opportunity present in Litecoin at the moment. And if you choose to take advantage of the entry that I'm about to give you, you might stand to gain about 50% or more in terms of gains. So if you want to figure out the exact entry and stuff like that, make sure you stick around for the rest of this video. And guys, in the last video that I made about Matic, wow, look at this, right? We called this perfectly. Now, the reason I bring this up is not to brag in your face about how great I am or whatever that is. There is a very important lesson that I want you guys to learn, right? And I believe that this is a really good time to talk about this. So hear me out for like 30 seconds. I promise you'll get value from this. So what ended up happening was Matic began its distribution process way earlier than all the other altcoins. When Matic was going down, all the altcoins were still going up. And so I saw something weird about this and I was like, hey, short Matic. And I short it all the way down to here. Now, as for the specifics of why this level, let's just say that I used a FIB and this was the 0.5 and it just so happens to be a four hourly order block, which was really, really clean. So I was like, hey, short Matic here, buy Matic here. This is TP1, which you just hit. So this, like, if you went into this trade, like shout out to everyone who took these trades. You guys reached out to me on Twitter, but if you took this trade and made money, that's 26% in like a day. And that's about 13R. But right now I'm looking at TP2, which is a 22R trade. Like if you make money, let me know in the comment section below. But the reason I bring this up is because the moment, right, the moment Matic hit this block right here, Meta, or rather Facebook, whichever you want to know them as, they released a piece of news that said, soon you'll be able to make and sell NFTs on Instagram using Polygon, which is Matic. And I was just like, this is just the perfect example of everything that I talk about in this channel, which is the fact that news events and the market is just manipulated. We saw what was going to happen in terms of price action before the news came out, right? And I always say this, the news events are really just the market maker's way of showing retail, like giving retail traders a reason or like some sort of rationalization to just, you know, justify the move. So, oh, you, like you can look back at it and say, oh, Matic pumped because of the news. When in reality, this was all planned. And again, this is the clearest form of manipulation that I can give you in recent times because the price was going down when everything else was going up, right? There was no reason for Matic to be going down, especially because it's a relatively large cap coin. But the reason they were moving it down, right? The reason why the market makers were moving it down was because they were setting up for the news event. So next time you find out about these kinds of news events, use them, but don't treat them like gospel, right? Understand that price action will tell you everything that you need to know long before the news events actually come out. And on that note, if you want to follow along with all the trades that I'm calling, as well as the latest market updates, you know where to go, which is the private Discord. Anyways, back into Litecoin. So let's start on a higher time frame analysis of um, Litecoin and figure out exactly the level that I'm looking to target. Now, Litecoin is in a state where it is just beautiful. Like I love the setup of Litecoin for a very good reason. If you take a look at this macro range from this high to this low right here, you can see that price has been trading in the discount zone for a very long time already. Recently, you have just started to try to break out of the discount zone. Now, let me clarify what is this discount zone. In these markets, about 80% of daily trading volume is made up by algorithms. And these algorithms generally are from market makers or just retail traders using algorithms. But in terms of the market makers, right? Their algorithms are the ones that reprice these markets. So if the market goes up or goes down, trust me, it has something to do with the market makers, as I've shown you earlier. So the reason why I bring up this concept is because within any given range, you have a premium zone, which is anything above the 0.5, and you have the discount zone, anything below the 0.5. This matters because the algorithms that are repricing these markets like to keep the markets in a state of equilibrium or in a state of balance. And balance basically just means in the middle, right? That makes sense. So I believe at the moment that the target for Litecoin is going to be somewhere between $85 to $90, which is about a 50% movement from here and higher than 50% if you do buy at this price right there. Now, are we going to get there? Absolutely. Again, when price has been trading, let's say in a premium for too long, it makes sense for the algorithms to bring the price back down to 0.5 in order to rebalance the market. 
Similarly, I've been trading at a discount for very long now. And similarly, when I go to Matic, right? Remember how, like when I showed you how I identified the area of value, I used the FIB to draw from there to there, I believe. And look at that, the price pretty much found support. No, not there, right there, yeah. Um, the reason I used that low right there is because you can view this move as starting from here and pumping all the way up to here. Right, that's how that's how I draw fibs. You want to identify the key swing points of the market. So you come down to this 0.5, tap into an order block. But this is the kind of reaction that you can expect once you understand premium discount theory. So going back to Litecoin, I believe this is going to be the first target for Litecoin in the immediate like midterm ish. So probably a month to two months. Now that is a little bit far away. Now I'm going to actually get into the entry for Litecoin. So firstly, you have just taken out the range high. Now, I want you to visualize, right? This is another pro tip that you're learning in this video. Hopefully you're getting value out of this. Whenever you look at the markets, right? Try to identify what are the trading ranges. For example, this little part here can be a trading range. This part here can be a range, right? If you visualize the markets in this way, you can say that, oh, you know, the market has just been oscillating up and down within this range. The reason why you want to identify the markets in terms of ranges is because it makes it very easy for you to do your trading. Simply put, you just sell at range highs and you buy at range lows. Now, I know that sounds very simplistic, so let me elaborate. Now, most retail traders that I know generally fall into a pattern of, oh, look, resistance has been broken. Means the price is going to shoot to the moon. I have to buy once resistance is broken. It's a breakout, baby. Litecoin going to the moon, baby. Usually what ends up happening after that is you get exactly what's happening at the range highs at the moment, where... You take out the liquidity above the range high and then you reverse the markets. And why do you do that? Because everyone is trying to go long, right? Everyone is being willing buyers at high prices. Let me repeat that. There are a lot of people who are willing buyers at high prices. But if you're a market maker, it would be so easy to just reverse the markets and then make everyone here panic sell their position because they're like, oh my God, I thought it was supposed to break out, but now it's going down. So I'm just going to get out before I lose anymore. It's either that or if there are some stubborn people, then they're just going to get liquidated eventually if the price goes low enough. So this is a quick crash course on why you do not buy once you break quote unquote resistance. So again, this just goes back to the age old adage of sell high, buy low. Similarly, when you go take out the range lows, you buy. You take advantage of all these retail traders going short like being willing sellers at low prices and you buy from them, right? They're, they're willing to sell at low prices, so buy from them, right? Now, so at the moment, now that it's taken out of the range high, as I've mentioned before, you expect some kind of retracement. So at the moment, assuming, right, assuming at the time that I'm making this video, this four hourly high has not closed yet, but let's assume, right? I'm gonna give you guys the framework to, to be able to do this kind of analysis yourself. Let's assume that this move began from this low to this high over here. So what you do, you draw, a fib from low to high because we're looking for long entries. If you're looking for short entries, you draw from high to low. So from low to high, you want to look for the 0.618 to the 0.705. Notice how I marked it out in a yellow color. This is known as the golden pocket. When price comes into these two areas, it is a very good time to be a buyer. Now this goes back again to premium discount theory. When price has ventured too far off into the premium direction, you need to rebalance the markets back into the discount. So this zone right here, known as the golden pocket, is where the smart money and the market makers are going to look to put in the biggest positions into whatever asset it is you're trading, in this case, Litecoin. So when price returns back to three levels, two levels actually, that I'm watching, which is 57.24 or 57.25 and 55.7, I believe both of these prices are really good buying prices for Litecoin. And what you do is you set your stop loss somewhere in the realm of $54 and the target for this trade is going to be right here at $85. Now, how did I come up with $85? You might be wondering. So let's say, let's say that the range, right, the macro range, like the bigger range compared to this one to this one, is just a cleaner range. You know what I mean? Now, let's assume that the macro range for Litecoin heading out of this, well, range is not here to here, but instead it is from here to here. Right, that makes sense. What you do is you draw FIB again from low to high, and then you look for the negative 0.618 extension. So if you draw a traditional FIB, 
For example, if you go into the settings and you put on the 1.618, then you can just draw from high to low and the 1.618 would be right there. So 1.618 tends to be the level that range extensions go out from. So for example, whoops, drew the wrong range. 1.618 lines up very closely with 85. 85 happens to line up very closely with a macro range 0.5 and hence that is my target. So basically what I'm looking for is something like this, right? You just took out a liquidity, come back into the zone and then pop something like Matic. This kind of stuff tends to happen pretty much like clockwork. And the sooner that you can learn to read the markets from the perspective of the market makers, the more successful you're going to be. Because ultimately, these market makers are the ones who are moving the markets. And the sooner you stop trading like a retail idiot, the better off you're going to be. Now, is there a chance that Litecoin could just, you know, just absolutely pump from there? Absolutely, it can, right? And the signs that I'm going to look for for that to happen is some kind of a consolidation, right? Remember that the markets always move in phases of expansions and consolidations. For example, let's say that the previous trading range moves from here to here. Once you expand out of the range, you form a new range. This is the consolidation phase. This is the consolidation phase. Then you expand, consolidate, expand, and then you consolidate. So you want to look for another consolidation phase. What you want to look for is similarly to the range low range high theory. Now, the reason why you look for a range is because when you take out the range lows, that is your opportunity to buy. Sometimes the market makers will not allow the prices to come back into a sweet, sweet discount zone. So what you have to do then is you have to improvise. You have to go for a liquidity sweep. Now, what is this liquidity sweep? Let me give you another crash course on how these market makers trade. Now, I want you to visualize the markets as a Ferrari. Now, in order for this Ferrari to go up or down, it needs fuel. In this case, the fuel for the market is liquidity. In order to go up, you need to take the liquidity from below. In order to go down, you need to take the liquidity from above, such as this. And I want you to notice how this high here just goes slightly above this previous high because there is liquidity there. There are retail traders and traders in general, not just retail, placing their stop losses above this high because they will think if the price takes out the previous high, then that means the trade is invalidated. But the market makers know this. They have access to all the liquidation data and you know where the stop losses are placed and everything. They're just going to take advantage of this, right? They're just going to go slightly above, stop everybody out, make everybody sell at high prices, and then bring the markets down. Again, same theory, same concept. It's all about liquidity. The sooner you understand that the markets simply move on the basis of liquidity, the more successful you're going to be. So the reason why I give you that crash course is because I want you to understand when you get the new range high, range low, understand that there's going to be liquidity above the range high, liquidity below the range low. So once you take out the liquidity at the range low, when you get a bunch of willing sellers at low prices, then you are going to just buy from them, right? And then target the range high and target an expansion out of the range high. If you really want, like, if you think that this target is a little bit far, then all you simply do is assuming assuming the range is from here to here, I'm just going to draw a fib from here to here and you target the 1.618 extension, which a hyper imaginary, like in our imaginary little world, that would be $72. So this should hopefully give you every single sort of scenario and allow you to prepare for Litecoin. And of course, the reason why we place the stop loss here is because that is just the point of invalidation. If Litecoin breaks this low here, then you know it's just going to go back to the range low and we shouldn't really bother anymore. Again, all contingencies are planned for. Now, the honest to God truth is that chances are you can watch as many of these videos as you want, but the people that work with me one-on-one -on -one get 10 times the results in one tenth of the time. In about 10 days, I'm about to start a beta mastermind where I take a group of 20 students and just work really personally with them to get them to a point where they can do 10K per month minimum trading crypto, regardless of their account size. As of the time that I'm filming this video, 15 spots have already been taken up, but I just wanted to do a couple of last shout outs for the mastermind before enrollments close. If you are interested to join this, I want you to send me a DM on Twitter. And because this is a beta mastermind and I want to make sure that I can get mad results for you, you need to have an account size of at least 5K in order for this to be a good fit for you. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.